Hello, hello everyone. This is what I received from Uber, okay, about the new app. I'm thinking, mm, it might just, I don't know, it might be some new features added to the app on the iPhone. And for the Android, it's completely different. I'm just so confused, okay? For one, they sent this to my email. On the email account, okay? It says, your new driver app is here. From an easier way to track your earnings to real-time updates on where to find more trips, the app now supports you like a partner at every turn. And then it says to upgrade. And I see here this how it's supposed to look something like this. Okay. So when I tap on it, all right, they want me to install. Okay. And this is on my Android. I don't use um, Uber on my Android. I use it on my Apple phone. Okay. It seems to me it's different for the uh, steps to actually upgrade. It's different for everyone. Because a lot of you are telling me it just happens. But as you can see, I received an email with the blue button to upgrade. Granted, I never had Uber, the driver's app on my phone, but Uber Eats used to be on my phone and I do have Uber, the passenger's app. So it's installing. Uber Freights. Oh, my six pack look better than that, man. Mm, I can show you one pack. Let me tell you, okay? Hmm. Don't let me show you. All right, so, okay, here it is. Finally. All right, we open it. What you're gonna tell us? Because <sighs> if it if it only works for the um, see, I have to sign in. I don't know if I know which one it is. Well, there you go, guys. It's different. Because on the Apple phone, if you look in the upper left corner here, where you see the little hamburger icon, that is on the right side. The offline button and the slider is also on the left side, instead of it being divided here. Um... Let's see, let's go up here. All right, earnings looks like that. This is on my LG. What's this? And I have this on my iPhone. Uh, so that's the, sh this, the same. Uh, let's see. 
that's the same. Yeah. Do not come to door. Say what? When did this happen? I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Hmm. I don't know. I really don't know, but hey, there you be. Oh. Okay, so go to right. Um, yeah. Let's turn it on. Okay, let's oh, yes recommend it, but let's do yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I have this on the other app. Okay, but it doesn't tell me the well how much on the Apple phone. I have this little where you see next. On your next trip, on next trip, I have that on the iPhone, but it's just zero zero. But I notice on here it tells me, yeah, now okay. The surge amount below will stay with you as you drive, and will be added to your next trip. Mm -hmm. Okay, and let's spread this out here. Let's see. All right. Okay. So that's on the um so it seems to me it's a different look on different phones. However, it includes the same thing. It's just a little different. Cause I have everything that I see here except for in the upper that little up that blue bar up top where you see the hamburger icon online and then the slider on the iPhone I have the online button or the online word in the slider on the left side and the hamburger icon on the right side so it's still the same it, it has the same features but just a little tad different you know so uh, yeah this is the same on the iPhone this is the same on the iPhone. See that? Okay. Yeah. That's the same. Same with the airport. I can see. Uh, yeah. Okay. So it's the same. Yeah. I ordered a new Uber card. So, yeah, guys. Yeah, there you go. This is the LG Silo 2. Uh, yeah. The only thing, Uber does not have this phone number on record for Uber. So you saw it for yourself. Uh, let's see if I can change my driver preferences, my rides. Yes, I can still do that. Okay. Go back and back. Yeah. So. Mm hmm. So we're looking at it on the LG. This is the new app <sighs> for Uber. Yeah. All right. Leave your comments below. Interesting. All right, guys. Take care.